Diagnostics control is used to set the display's time and date, brightness level, temperature offset, and to test or reset the display. Before performing any of these actions, make sure you are connected to the display by clicking on the display in the display list and then on the Get Status button. The Set Time Date option allows you to update the time and date on the selected display's internal clock to match that of the computer running the Venus 1500 software. The Set Brightness action offers three options. Automatic, by which the display's brightness level adjusts automatically based off readings from an external light sensor at the display site when present. This is the recommended setting with a photo cell attached to your display. Manual helps adjust the brightness intensity of the display using the minimum and maximum slide bar at the right. And Schedule adjusts the display's brightness as programmed in the schedule when a schedule is running. This option is needed only when using a version 2 controller. Check the desired option and then click Set Brightness to activate it for the selected display. The Pixel tests are available on specific firmware versions to assist maintenance personnel who may be troubleshooting the display. If you wish to test the display yourself, select the desired test from the drop-down menu or choose Cycle All to run all of the listed tests. Click on Start Test and once testing is complete, click on Stop Test. Bear in mind that not all listed tests will work with every display. If a particular test does not appear on your display, then that test is not supported in the display's firmware. The temperature offset is used when the external temperature sensor at the display site needs to be adjusted to reflect the true outside temperature. The offset increases or decreases the measured temperature by the specified amount before showing it on the display. Use the slider bar to specify the amount of offset and then click on Set Temperature Offset to activate the adjustment. Reset Display restarts the controller inside the selected display. To remove all the messages and schedules saved at the display site, check the box next to Clear Display Memory and then click on Reset Display to open a confirmation dialog box. Select Yes to continue the reset command. The available memory for the display should be empty the next time you retrieve the message's status. The display time and date will be updated to the current time and date. A word of warning though, resetting the display will temporarily interrupt operation and is typically used only during troubleshooting, so use this option very carefully.